Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Fun in the Kitchen with April. And today, I'm going to give you a piece of Black history. Since we are in February, it is Black History Month, although every day is Black History. But I want to just share with you some Black History facts. And to those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, welcome. And I hope you enjoy and enjoy all the other videos I have to offer. And to you who have been with me from the very beginning, thank you for supporting me. And you continue to love me. Please, please continue to share and, and um, comment. And just tell the world about this um, channel if you're enjoying it. And I hope you are. I try to do things that is easy for everyone. So on to today's Black History Fact. We are going to recognize Lorraine Hansberry. And I'm going to show you a picture. Here she is, Lorraine Hansberry. And she is the granddaughter of a freed slave. Lorraine Vivian Hansberry was born on May 19th. 1930 to a successful real estate broker and a school teacher who resided in Chicago, Illinois. In 1938, the family moved to a white neighborhood and was violently attacked by its inhabitants, but the former refused to vacate the area until ordered to do so by the Supreme Court, where the case was addressed as Hansberry versus Lee. Wow. So she decided her, her family had been going to HBCUs. She decided she was going to break the, the tradition of going to a HBCU. And she went to um, University of Wisconsin. And which there she changed her major from painting to writing. She is, she, well, she wrote, Lorraine Hansberry wrote the play. It was called, um... Let me see, give me a second. Her play that she wrote was called um, The Crystal Stair. And I bet you guys didn't even know she wrote this play. You probably never even heard of The Crystal Stair. But when I tell you what the play was renamed to, then you guys are gonna know what this play is. So the original name of the play was The Crystal Stair. And this is what she wrote. This was her first play that she wrote. And it was about a family struggling in Chicago. Later, the play was renamed to Raisin in the Sun. And this is Lorraine Hansberry. There she is. All right, guys, that was just a nice fun fact for Black History Month. And I'm going to try to continue to give you some fun facts regarding our Black History legends and even some people who are still living. Everybody doesn't have to be dead. Every day, as I'm an African-American, every day we create Black History. So every day is Black History. Okay, so give me a second. Let me show you what we're going to make today and I'll be back. Okay. I'm back and so today what we're going to make is a soda cake. Now for this you only need two ingredients. Simple, easy, and I'm, I chose to do a spice cake and I thought that the root beer soda would go well with this spice cake. Two ingredients, that's it. You don't have to follow the directions on the box because with a spice cake all you need is the box cake any box flavor cake that you want to make have and you just complement it with the flavored soda that you think would go best with that particular cake. I'm going to do a spice cake and I think a root beer would go great with that. So, and then also I also got the, um, the pre-filled um, pastry bag so that we can ice in our cupcakes because that's what we're going to make. Cupcakes are so easy. I had previously opened this uh, box cake and I did I wasn't ready to make it yet so I had to put it in a Ziploc baggie so here we go I'm just gonna go ahead and pour this right on in to my um, bowl okay again any box cake will do for our recipe today and I'm doing the spice cake like I said 
And you're gonna set your oven to 350. That's what you need your oven to be on. We're gonna take this can, and again, wash your um your the top of your can off because you know it's been in the factory and everything, and you don't know what's been over it. So wash your your uh, can off. I've already washed it, and also please wash your hands. Okay. I'm gonna open this up, and I am going to pour this in. That's it. A uh, box cake in some soda. You don't have to add any egg or oil or water. This is it. This is all you have to do. And you see it gets a little foamy. That's okay. And we're gonna bring this down. I'm gonna adjust the camera just a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing right there. I'm gonna lock my, my um, mixer and I'm going to put it on the number two level. I started with the stir, but I'm gonna bring it up to a number two. And we're gonna let it mix. That's all that's to that. You see it's a little foamy, of course, because of the soda. We're just gonna let that mix up. That's it. Nothing hard. And you can see, it smells delicious. And it's starting to form, form that nice batter consistency. So I'm gonna let this mix and I'll be back when we're ready to put it into our um, cupcake pans. Okay, so I'm back. I got my um, cake mix all mixed up here and I'm just gonna take my soup spoon and I'm going to fill the uh, cupcake liners with batter. And that's all. And again, I have my oven set to 350 and um we're gonna let it bake and i'll check it once i feel like it's done and how you check to make sure that your cake is done you take a toothpick and if it comes out clean it's done and this is all i'm doing so i'm going to finish filling my cupcake liners and i will be back in a minute but it smells amazing guys so i'm sure it's going to be great okay here are our beautiful cupcakes they look great they they're nice and and moist and i am going to use this pre-filled piping bag i've gotten i hope i got all the icing down to the bottom so i can squeeze some icing onto this onto these cupcakes let's see if i can do this right because i definitely am not the queen when it comes to doing icing and stuff. So let's see. I did what the box says. And now I am going to see if I can get the icing to come out. Okay, it's coming. Slowly but surely it's coming. Okay, this is, okay, this is a little harder than I thought, and I have to twist, twist, twist at the top of the bag. There we go. Something's coming. Well, I'm going to try to get this icing, and then I'll show you when I get it together. <laughs> you know, this is fun in the kitchen. <laughs> Okay, so I think I got it here. There we go. <laughs> okay, that's what I don't, you know, I'm just not an expert. I usually leave the icing and stuff to, you know, make it look real pretty to the experts. But I thought I'd try my hand at it. Not too bad. Not too bad, but it's harder than it, than it actually looks. So, yeah, yeah, so that's what I have so far. But anyway, they're, they look amazing. And in fact, for a little garnish, where is my cinnamon? I wanna put a little bit of cinnamon onto my, um, onto my cupcakes. So give me a second, let me find my cinnamon. And here are my um, 
cupcakes and it was a little hard it got easier as i got the hang of it to ice in the cake with that um but this is them and they look delicious and in fact let me try one for you because i know you want to know how it tastes guys mm, mm, mm. yes oh gosh you, you definitely should make you some of this that um root beer really enhances the flavors in this spice cake mm, delicious really good so i want you to make you some of this quick and easy a box cake and a can of soda that's it and tell me how you like it in the comment section below and as always, I leave my recipes in the description down below. If you look below, right there, right underneath the video, you'll see the recipe. Okay? So, remember to like, subscribe, comment, and press the notification bell so you know the next time I have a great recipe coming for you. Bye!